When it comes to wildlife, Africa is possibly the most dangerous continent on this planet. It's home to some of the world's most iconic predators, but it's not always the predators you have to look out for. Africa is home to some of the largest land animals on this planet, and all of these land animals have the potential to be dangerous. Because most of the herbivores in Africa have to deal with large, powerful predators, they have all evolved different ways to defend themselves. These defences usually come in the form of tusks or horns, but some animals rely on their size and their overwhelming power. Sometimes when these large herbivores view humans as a threat, they may choose to charge and attack the human. In most cases, this scenario only has one outcome, and this is why more people are killed by herbivores in Africa than they are by predators. In this video, I will be going through some of the most dangerous plant eaters in Africa, as I will be going through three of the deadliest herbivores in Africa. The first dangerous plant eater we will be going through today is the African buffalo. This mammal is a large sub-Saharan African bovine, and today it has five recognised subspecies. One of these subspecies is the famous Cape buffalo, and one of the others is the lesser known forest buffalo. The African buffalo is a very heavy and sturdy creature, and it needs to be this way to deal with some of the predators in Africa. Its impressive size deters some smaller predators, but the horns on top its head are a great way of dealing with lions. These horns are an excellent indication of age and sex, as the females and young males do not have the hard shielding that protects the base of the skull. African buffaloes are extremely social creatures, and they can be found in mixed herds of up to 2,000 members. These herds often provide safety in numbers, and it's a great way to confuse predators and make it hard for them to pick out a target. The Cape Buffalo is sometimes referred to as the Mafia of the Bush, and this is because they have a tendency to take revenge when messed with. They are known to circle back, stalk and attack predators, and there are many tales from hunters where these animals have been shot and then turned round and killed the hunter. Because of behaviours such as these, very few predators actually target African buffaloes, but their main predators are mostly lions and crocodiles. When lions do take down these large creatures, they usually have to work as a group, and it's not rare for a single African buffalo to kill a lion. The Cape Buffalo is one of the Big Five African game, and it is sometimes referred to as the Black Death or Widowmaker. This is because it's widely regarded as a very dangerous animal, and it should really be treated with the utmost respect. There's not much incentive for an African buffalo to attack a human, but despite this, hundreds of attacks happen every year. There are multiple different reasons why these animals would attack humans, but almost all of them revolve around self-defence. Humans don't really act like a prey animal, and if one of these buffalo had come into contact with a poacher, it will always associate humans with danger. If a human were to get too close to their young, they may also attack, and if you're on the receiving end of one of these attacks, they are often fatal. 49.5% of African buffalo attacks attacks end in death, and the cause of death is usually goring. The African buffalo is definitely one of the most dangerous animals in Africa, and it is estimated that they kill around 200 people per year. This makes them one of the deadliest mammals on this planet, and they really do demand your respect. But the next deadly plant eater we will be looking at is the African elephant. Now I say the African elephant, but of course there are two species, the African bush elephant and the African forest elephant. Both of these species are often mistaken for each other, but they differ in the size and colour of their tusks, and in the shape and size of their ears and skulls. These elephants are not only the largest land animals on this planet, but they are also some of the most loved animals on this planet. Elephants are a lot more intelligent than most people believe, and they are capable of experiencing many complicated emotions. Because elephants are so large, very few predators actually target them. Even the most daring predators only go after their young, and in most cases the adults are able to protect them. They are known to throw and crush potential predators such as crocodiles, and their strong family bonds help to keep them safe. They are known to help other members of their family that are distressed, and they will even console young elephants with touches and calls. Although African elephants are loved by most of us, human elephant conflicts are quite common. These large beautiful creatures are often poached, and if an elephant has a bad experience with a poacher, they are more likely to be hostile towards other humans when they find them. As well as this, there is often conflict over food and resources, as elephants have to get through a lot of food in one day, and they are more than happy to destroy farms to do so. As there is very little you can do to control an adult elephant, they are hated in some areas, as farmers feel almost helpless when trying to stop them. 
This of course isn't the elephants fault as they are simply trying to survive. And in Africa there is a lot of human encroachment into natural areas. This isn't only an African problem as it also happens in Asia. And it's thought that elephants are responsible for around 500 human deaths per year. This number includes deaths caused by both Asian and African elephants. But really it's a very small number compared with how many elephants poachers kill. So really humans are far more dangerous than elephants are. And most killer elephants are only acting in self-defense. But our final herbivore on this list is the hippopotamus. This animal's inclusion on this list should be a shock to no one, as famously the hippo is the most dangerous creature in Africa. These chunky semi-aquatic mammals spend a lot of their time in water, and this is where a lot of attacks happen. Strangely the hippo can't swim or float, but instead they walk along the bottom of rivers and lakes. They prefer to spend the hottest hours of the day in the water, and then they venture on land in the evening. This is where they do the most of their feeding, and the majority of their diet is made up of grasses. Despite not looking very athletic, they can cover 10 kilometers in one night, and they are easily able to outrun a human. Most hippo aggression is aimed at other hippos, as they can become very territorial in the water. Males will fight for mates and territory, and these fights can be extremely violent. It's believed that most of the hippo attacks on humans are because of their territorial nature. Most hippo attacks happen in the water and often involve hippos charging and attacking boats. Small boats can easily be capsized and passengers are often injured and killed or in some of the cases they drown. In Niger all the way back in 2014, a small boat was capsized by a hippo and all 13 people on board were killed. Hippos are known for being extremely unpredictable and can go from being very calm to very aggressive in an instant. As well as this, just like the African elephants, they will also raid farms and this often means that conflict ensues. Strangely, the hippo isn't only deadly in Africa as it's also started attacking people in South America. For those of you who are unaware, there is an invasive population of hippos in South America and they were brought here by Pablo Escobar. They first started off as pets but when he was killed they were released into the wild. And since then their numbers have multiplied and now they have become a big problem. Today they are seen as an attraction and they bring tourists to the area. But these creatures not only have a negative impact on the ecosystem, but they've also started attacking locals. So far one fisherman has been attacked and so has a local farmer. The government is currently trying to sterilize these hippos, as so far it seems like the most peaceful way to get rid of them. So wherever hippos are found they are known to attack humans, and each year they cause quite a lot of fatalities. Estimates vary as some of the attacks go unrecorded, but it's thought that hippos are responsible for around 500 to 3,000 deaths per year. This makes them one of the most deadly herbivores on this planet, and I definitely wouldn't want to mess with one. If you know of any other African animals that could have made it on this list, then please let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.